Kendra, thank you very much for being here. I know you've a very busy schedule. You're off, I think, to uh, Paris later tonight. So uh, thanks for spending the time with us. Um, let me start off asking you, because you have direct experience of this. Mm. Um, the route from CFO to CEO does seem to be becoming, be becoming more common. You were one of the pioneers of this um, uh, back in 2006 when you became uh, CEO of PepsiCo. Why do you think it's becoming more of a more more of a well-trodden route into the into, into the top job? I don't know if it's a well-trodden route at this point. I think it could be, but uh, it's largely dependent on the kind of CFOs that we develop in the company. Um, I think the reason CFOs became considered for CEOs at all is because regulations, Sarbanes Oxley confused the hell out of boards and CEOs outgoing CEOs, and all of a sudden CFOs had the upper hand. Um, I think over the years, other issues are now trumping the agenda. Uh, the world has become more complex, transformations have to be done of companies. So I think CFOs are going to have to rise to the challenge to be considered for CEO jobs. So I'm not sure it's an established practice as yet. It's a practice where CFOs are now willing to be put into the consideration set, which is different than them having a pole position to become the CEO. I mean, as you were sort of implying there, that it's it's a it's 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 uncertain about how uh, broadly followed this route will become. Um, what are the? It seems that it seems that a CFO's role can, in some ways, be quite fundamentally different from a C, from a CEO's role. There's a there's the obligation to you know to to, to be the to, to be the intendant of this financial discipline, uh, whereas the CEO's role is required to be more strategic. Is there a, is there a, should there be clearly defined, demarcated responsibilities there? So let me step back a little bit, uh, Jerry, and I have to tell you, every time I hear the name Jerry Baker being introduced, I'm thinking of sort of Ginger Baker of the cream or something like that. <laughs> and I show up yeah. here, he wants to talk to you about You haven't seen me play CFO the drums, Ginger, but, but if, you, if you'd like me to do, do a bit of drumming, <laughs> well, we, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to, to keep you in sync. Yeah. That's OK. <laughs> so we'll talk CEO, CFO. So I'm yeah. going to lead into music yeah. for in a minute. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I, you know, I, I want to think. He had about a bit more hair than I had. <laughs> I seem to recall. So, so. That's for sure. Yes, I remember. Well, yeah, but yeah. maybe he was yeah. always wearing. This is a chit chat to get you your yeah, uh, yeah. soccer scores. But mm. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but let's go back. I think you should start thinking about a symphony. Um, you know, when you think about music and symphony is being played, um, you know, there's a score. It doesn't matter which orchestra in the world and which conductor is playing the symphony. It follows a certain pattern. Follows a certain uh, rhythmic structure, and it doesn't matter where you hear it in the world, it always sounds the same. Let me contrast that with, um, you know, let me step back. People have often said that a CEO is like conducting a symphony orchestra, because you've got to bring all kinds of people along with you, you're conducting this complex symphony. The problem is that CEOs don't have music that's given to them with a set structure. We have to make up our music as we go along. We're just given a framework and we have to work within a broad framework and make music. So in many ways, being a CEO is like leading or playing in a jazz orchestra. You improvise, you pick up the cues from people around you. You have a framework, but you've got to make brilliant music with a bunch of people who are all wanting to improvise on their own. Herein lies the problem. CFOs tend to be very good at the symphony. When you've got to sort of graduate or move to a jazz structure. Uh, appreciating symphony, how do you do that? And I think therein lies the challenge, because if CFOs expect somebody to give them a structure, if CFOs expect to pay with a very narrow set of rules, it's very hard to be a CEO. So in all cases, I think what has to happen is very early in a person's career, you've almost got to say, God, this person has potential. How do I get them to play that symphony, appreciate jazz, and maybe graduate to jazz? How do you do that? And therein lies the challenge, because the CEO has to play in a jazz orchestra and appreciate symphony. And a CFO plays in a symphony, but has to graduate to playing in jazz. OK, 